Hello and welcome to this video with me Coach Reese. I hope you're all doing really well. So in today's video we're going to talk about the third man. We're going to take a look at what it is, why it's important and how we can release the third man. As always I will leave timestamps and chapters below. So let's get started. So what is the third man? Well in its most simplest form it's a three player combination where player one wants to pass to player three but the passing lane may be blocked or at the current moment player three isn't in the most beneficial position. So we use player two as a go-between. Why is the third man important? Well it's all about trying to find the free player in space and not just in space but it's about finding a player who once they receive the ball will increase the attacking potential of the team. For example, the third man might be a player who's between the lines. So once we get that third player on the ball, they are taken as beyond pressure. Another really important thing with the third man is we're not only looking to release a player in space, but we're looking to release a player who is facing goal. And this can be really important when progressing the team forward. As you would expect, with three players involved, Triangles are really important and with this it's really important that the three players are on different vertical lines. This will allow the three players to combine not only quickly but accurately. An example of this is we may play beyond our intended third player so that the second player involved in the sequence can set it back to our third player who will be facing goal and by having this third player facing goal we're increasing the attacking potential of the team. So what can help us release the third man in space? Well, a really good thing to do is to draw pressure. And we can draw pressure towards the first player in the sequence. And by drawing pressure towards this player, we then increase the amount of space that the third player will have should they receive the ball. So the third man concept is something that happens all over the pitch. It's not something that's necessarily restricted to certain areas. So in our first example, we're going to put our right centre back in possession of the ball. Now we're trying to move beyond the opposition's first line of pressure. Because at this point, the opposition are moving towards their mid block, so their attacking line are quite central. The player who can take us beyond pressure and travel into space and therefore increase the attacking potential of the team is the right back but this passing lane is somewhat blocked by the opposition's left wing. So if we think about what we've discussed so far, the triangle created by the right centre back, the right central midfielder and the right back is how we can release that third player. So we can allow our right centre back to stay on the ball for a few moments. This may draw pressure from either the striker or hopefully the opposition's left winger. As this pressure arrives, we can then play into our central midfielder who then can play out wide to our right back. Because we've drawn that pressure initially, our right back now has a lot more space to travel into, so their decisions can be more informed because they've just got a little bit more time on the ball. The next example, we're going to incorporate a third man run. So in our example, our right winger has moved central. So our triangle is created between our central midfielder, our right winger and our attacking midfielder. The movement infield from our right winger has forced the opposition's left back to come tight and come central. Because of this, we've now opened up a lot of space and our third man run can be made by our right back. So the initial passing sequence from our central midfielder to our right winger to our attacking midfielder who's our third man in this sequence who is now facing goal can see the third man run be made by the right back and play that pass first time. Because of this little sequence in midfield and our third man run from our right back, the team are now in a position where we are beyond the entire opposition structure. This can allow us to then progress into the box where we may score a goal or at least have a shot on goal. So that's a look at why the third man is incredibly important. I do have a Kofi page if you'd like to support myself and the channel. As always, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. I've been Coach Reese. I'll see you in the next one. Have a fantastic day.